Americans are outright concerned. To take the pulse of the nation, we turn to Nicole Mittendorf. With L She's an LPL financial advisor and host of More Than Money on FM 107.1 in Minneapolis. Wes Moss, he's the chief financial planner and host of the Wes Moss Show Real Money on 640 WGST in Atlanta. And Reese Hopkins, midday host on WRKO 680 AM in Boston. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for being here this morning. Nicole, let me start with Good you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Reese. Nicole, let me start with you. What was the biggest concern you heard out of callers yesterday when the market had that real precipitous decline but rallied into the day, into the back end of the day? It's more or less the concern of, okay, what what are we doing? What What's our plan? Um, you know, really, people here in Minnesota are feeling some concern, and they realize, okay, we need to do something, but they're not really sure that what we're doing is the exact right thing. And people are finally realizing that they actually need to change their behavior, and we as Americans all need to change our behavior, that we really can't live like we used to, and what we know is not what we used to anymore. And so there's a lot of, there's, there's two camps really that people tend to fall into is one either I have a lot of cash and I want to take this as an opportunity or two you know I'm really concerned with where things are I'm close to retirement and I need to be doing something and actually have a, a, a specific plan in place and actually take some action. Wes are you hearing the same thing you know I had a bit uh, so many people approach me yesterday about this it's, it's hard to describe who said that they were, you know, two, five years off in retirement and they were just completely panicked and sold everything yesterday. Sure, Nicole brings up a great point. She's talking about the global deleveraging that it starts at the hedge funds and then comes down to the mutual funds and then comes down to companies and then everyone's personal balance sheet. The calls that I'm getting are people that realize now and, and they're, maybe they're forced to realize it, but they need to deleverage their own personal balance sheet. So we're going to go back to... Uh, an overall financial plan like our, our parents and our grandparents had, which doesn't include nearly as much debt. And the more debt you have on the balance sheet personally, the more nervous you are about your own personal financial portfolio and your retirement account. So that's why, and Nicole brings up the point about planning, uh, if you have something in place right now and you've figured out a long-term strategy and you have more than five years until you actually retire, my, my callers into my show are actually looking at this as an opportunity. People that are in retirement are the ones that are getting really, really nervous about this market. Reese, you know, we, we've been talking a lot about this rescue plan and the real anger and frustration around it from all of your callers, callers throughout the country. The fact of the matter is the American taxpayer. And it, and it looks now, uh, only one day into it, as though the plan isn't working. But the fact of the matter is you and I both know we need time to address some of these issues. Are people afraid of time right now? Absolutely. In, in fact, I, I think my, my callers uh, have actually sort of joined me by saying, get your money out of the bank. Please put it under your mattress. Put it in your cookie jar, whatever it is you can. They're panicking. I know that they're panicking. But you know what? You, you don't have to do that. And my listeners know that. But they don't know what to do, and they're afraid. And I'll admit, the bailout package has been one of their biggest concerns, and it will remain their biggest concern today, especially now when we found out that everybody else is getting some sort of pork barrel spending uh, allowed in this package. But we're, we're worried. But I will say this for my listeners. We're still confident in the American economy. No matter what panic might happen in the interim, we think we're, we're really, really, we depend on our economy to be strong. Yeah, I mean, Nicole, listen, you got to be giving people some advice as they're calling. I mean, it's great to hear that you and Wes are talking about people who are, who are looking for opportunities. I haven't heard anybody say opportunities. I've had people approach me at, at lunches, out on the street, saying, what do I do? Mm -hmm. I'm panicked. I'm afraid. I don't know how far it's going to go. What kind of advice do you give people when the market has, in essence, gone from almost 14,200 to, you know, look where mm -hmm. it was at one point yesterday? I mean, we've sold off a lot. What do you tell people at this point if they're f trying to figure out whether or not they should withdraw everything? 
Right. I mean, it, it all comes down to you need to have a plan. And obviously, if you're panicked, you didn't have a plan in place. And so if you don't have a financial advisor, you need to get one. And you need to set up a meeting with your advisor and really scrutinize the investments that you do hold and say, OK, is this investment appropriate for me? Am I earning money and dividends on this investment? Why do I actually own it? Because it always comes back to why did you buy the investment in the first place? And you maybe need to be more conservative. It just to completely depends upon your own situation and you need to take it by a case by case basis but you need to have a plan in place if you're panicked and it's not necessarily that you but, run but and Nicole, sell everything right but Nicole yeah. in fairness there are plenty of people out there who have had plans they've been diversified in mutual funds they have had a financial planner but the fact of the matter is they've lost so much money in the course of this mm -hmm. year that they're not sitting here talking about a plan they're sitting here saying to themselves wait a second if I keep leaving my money in the markets where is this money gonna go what is it gonna be worth I mean Wes you yeah. know it's hard to, look none of us have yeah. uh, you know the, the can read the tea leaves but right. is it the wrong decision Decision to pull out now. Well, Alexis, people are getting a, lessons, uh, a lesson in risk tolerance right now. People are, tend to take on risk when things are going well, and when things are going poorly, people get more conservative, and it's that same emotional behavior that leads to poor long-term results. The Financial Planning Association just came out with a study yesterday that said that 80% of people that have some sort of comprehensive plan feel prepared for retirement. Even through the storm that we've been through, starting way back in October, people that don't have any sort of plan, only 40% of those people are confident about retirement. So I think that it's, it's, not, it, it's not really fair as a planner to say, look, if you don't have a plan, then that's the reason you're nervous. The reality is that everybody's nervous, even the people that have put plans in place. But now it's time to actually go back and say, well, if I have some sort of balance and I've, if I originally said that I wanted to have 50% stocks for the long, long run, and now we've gone through this major correction and, and you still can't sleep at night with that, maybe that tells you as uh, an individual, and, and it's a lesson too to your planner as well, that maybe you should only be 30 or 40 percent in stocks for the very long run. So this is just a lesson right. to all of us at this point. All right, guys, we're going to have to leave it there. Reese, Wes, and Nicole, great pleasure having the three of you on. I, I know we'll check back in with you. Thanks so much.